Hello, hello Americans. <laughs> I'm Kamala Harris. My pronouns are she and her. And I am a woman standing in front of you today at this podium, right? And I'm wearing a black suit. Oh, well, guess what? You know, now that old Joe is gone, you know, it's finally my turn, right? <laughs> now, I want to talk to you guys. You know, I want to tell you a little story. As you may know, you know, the word vice, well, that means two, right? And, you know, I won't be number two anymore. You know, there's no longer going to be vice. And I would be the president. And that's what that word president means. Number one, right? <laughs> you know, and not only will I become the first woman president, but I'll also be the first black president. You know, isn't that exciting, right? <laughs> yeah, let's go, America. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your rideshare extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. <laughs> you guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, can folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, oh man, so... Mr. Trump has done it again. This guy, boy, he gets the lemons, adds some sugar, a little bit of water, and he makes lemonade. Everybody was saying, Trump, do not go to this uh, black journalist convention. And he shows up anyway. He goes to a hostile environment. And straight off the back, the hyenas went after him. I appreciate you giving us an hour of your time. I want to start by addressing the elephant in the room, sir. A lot of people did not think it was appropriate for you to be here today. You have pushed false claims about some of your rivals, from Nikki Haley to former President Barack Obama, saying that they were not born in the United States, which is not true. You have told four congresswomen of color who were American citizens to go back to where they came from. You have used words like animal and rabbit to describe black district attorneys. You've attacked black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions that they ask are, quote, stupid and racist. You've had dinner with a white supremacist at your Mar-a-Lago resort. So my question, sir, now that you are asking black supporters to vote for you, why should black voters trust you after you have used language like that? Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question so, in, in such a horrible manner. <laughs> and he holds his own. And you notice that he said that you, black women, had me here waiting for half an hour because you can't get your shit together. I think it's a very rude introduction. I don't know exactly why you would do something like that. And let me go a step further. I was invited here and I was told my opponent, whether it was Biden or Kamala, uh, I was told my opponent was going to be here. It turned out my opponent isn't here. You invited me under false pretense. And then you said, you can't do it with Zoom. Well, uh, you know, where's Zoom? She's going to do it with Zoom, and she's not coming. And then you were half an hour late, just so we understand. I have too much respect for you to be late. They couldn't get their equipment working or something Mr. was President, wrong. I would but he stayed anyway. Kamala Harris was a no-show. I, I wonder why. But nevertheless, Trump shows up, he does his interview, he doesn't pander, he doesn't come with a southern accent, he doesn't say, what's up, my nigga? None of that. I'm a white man, 
says Trump. I don't flip flop. You know who I am. You know what I stand for. And we're going to talk about the border. We're going to talk about inflation. We're going to talk about food prices, gas prices. That's it. The hyenas can't do that. The hyenas want to bring coloring to it. And so Mr. Trump took that opportunity to make it a national conversation now. Is Kamala black or Indian? Sir, do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is only on the ticket because she is a black woman? Well, I can say, no, I think it's maybe a little bit different. So uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly very much. And she was always of Indian heritage and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect she went to a either black one. College. I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't because she was Indian all the way and then all of a sudden she made a turn and she went, she became a black person. Just to be clear, sir, do and you I believe think, that I she think is somebody a- should look into that too when you ask a continue in a very hostile, nasty tone. It's a- so Trump used his opportunity to call her out and now you have to fact check her. Everybody's talking about it now. Everybody's seeing that her father is Irish and Hindu, not black. And she was everybody's favorite Hindu Indian prosecutor and attorney general and senator. And now she becomes black. But, you know, I met her daddy, a fine gentleman, Professor Harris. And the problem with her being black is Professor Harris says he's Caucasian, mixed Irish and Hindu. He doesn't have any black ancestors, but his Irish ancestors owned a lot of slaves in Jamaica and had them to work on plantation. So if mama is on the birth certificate listed as a Caucasian, Daddy says he's a Ken Caucasian, Caucasian Hindu and has no black ancestors. How did she get to be black? Now, everybody see that she was born in California, but she was raised in Canada. K-212, right by Drake. She's not like us. But she go around playing Kendrick Lamar song, talking about they're not like us. Yeah, girl, I'm out here in these streets. And let me tell you, you're right, Taraji. But these extremists... As they say, they're not like us. You're not like us. The hell? She got you fooled. But now Trump got the conversation going. You have to fact check her. And what political fact going to say? Politi- political fact is going to say mostly true or mostly false. They can't say false. Or they can't say true. They don't give Trump the benefit of the doubt. They're going to say mostly false or mostly true. Something like that. You know, frankly, it, it, Benedict students were excluded. And as a proud HBCU graduate, and especially knowing that these times and the challenges of these times. Just because you went to HBCU doesn't mean that you're black. Shit, Rachel Dolezal, she went to HBCU. And look at her. She's cuckoo in the head. So what we're going to cook today okay. is an Indian recipe. Yes. Because yes. you are Indian. Yes, yes. Okay, and yes. I don't know that everybody knows that, but I find that wherever I go and I see Indian people, the uh-huh. supermarket, uh-huh. on the street, everyone's like, you know Kamala Harris is Indian, right? It's like our <laughs> thing we're so excited about to have you running for president. Yeah. So we're both Indian, yes. but actually we're both South Indian. Yes. Um, you look like the entire ha- one half of my family. Okay, thank you. You do. I've been telling people you we're do. related already, yeah. so this is uh-huh. perfect. It's basically true. <laughs> uh, and so were do you raised eating South Indian food? South Indian food. Lots of rice and yogurt, potato curry, dal, lots of dal. We all know that you're a curry eater, Kamala, and nobody's mad about that. But you should have stand on your square and say, yes, I'm Indian American. You probably got more votes. But you come around talking about with your southern accent, chucking and jiving, talking about you smoke weed and you know Tupac music and all that. Stop your lying. Huh? In this country, if you are biracial, but you have any drop of black blood in you, you are considered a black person. That was the one and that drop is, theory. That's as the a one drop fact. theory. Yes. We didn't make those rules. No. no. Those rules were made for us. 
<laughs> One ounce of blood makes you black. Right. Remember what happened to Elizabeth Warren? Elizabeth Warren claimed to be Native Native Indian, Native American, whatever. Until Trump called her out. Trump called her Pocahontas. And she had to go and prove him wrong. She went and got a 23 in me and comes out 0.0001%. Shit. I'm more Native American than she is. So she got caught in a lie. Kamala, do us a favor. Take your ass to 23 and me. If you got 1%, one ounce of it, and then we'll just, eat, we'll eat our hats. How about that? But you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. You're going to hide behind The View. You're going to hide behind CNN. You're not going to do no interviews about it. Right? You can say what you want to say about Hillary. You know, I'm not a fan of Hillary, but she did it the old fashioned way. She does politics, hard nosed politics. Shit, Nancy Pelosi, another one, hard nosed politics. They go in and rough it up with the guys. You could make, uh, Hillary and, and Nancy Pelosi, they can transition to a guy, to a liberal male, and they could compete with some of the Republicans. They got that much testosterone in them. They do it hard nosed style. Kamala does it the other way. She doesn't do the hard nosed politics. She just lie on her back. And who bro- who who calls her out on it? Judge Joe Brown. In this city years ago, I used to represent a whole bunch of pimps and hoes, and I know a hoe when I see one. It's funny that nobody has called out Judge Joe Brown on none of this. Nobody called Judge Joe Brown a coon, a sellout. A fuck nigga, none of that shit. Uh, She's a witch, and she is a corrupt witch. She's been corrupt her whole life, and she fucked her way to the top. He calls her out, and nobody is checking Judge Joe Brown. A real man, a real OG. And shout out to you, Judge Joe Brown, for your input, man. You opened up a lot of guys' eyes about this old 304 over here. Well, that's my thoughts for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you 304s. Get your ass off my lawn.